been successful in growing potatoes in sub-irrigated bags of peat and perlite. Two seed potatoes were placed in bags containing four to six liters of peat and perlite, and the bags were topped off with dry grass. A five centimeter depth of nutrient solution was maintained in the tank by a float valve. But growing medium is expensive. In fact, in our best trials, it still costs 74 cents for growing medium to grow a kilogram of potatoes. In this video, we're going to look at five passive hydroponic methods which have the potential to lower these growing medium costs. First, we'll look at a trial conducted in 2007 where three passive hydroponic methods were compared. Red salad, Yukon gold, and all blue potato varieties were tested. The first method is a pot-in-pot -pot method where upside down three liter pots are placed into nine liter pots. Two zones of 250 milliliters of growing medium are placed opposite each other in the wedged area between the pot and pot space. The pots are filled with dry grass. Actually, straw would be even better. The constant 2 to 5 centimeter depth of nutrient solution saturates the bottom of the growing medium, and this moistens the upper growing medium by capillary action thus providing a moist air environment for the roots to grow in. All three varieties produce potatoes by this pot and pot method. Yukon Gold produced the most potatoes with 3.4 kilograms per meter of tank. This looks pretty good, but in reality it's only about half of the yield that would be produced in an average Idaho potato field. But it's a good start and maybe some of you folks will be able to improve on this. Even though we had a suboptimum yield of potatoes, we only used 250 milliliters of growing medium per seed potato. Therefore, our growing medium cost was only 25 cents per kilogram of Yukon Gold potatoes, which is about two thirds less than our sub irrigated bag method. Our next method doesn't use any conventional growing medium. Instead, paper toweling is placed over an upside down tray and extends into the nutrient solution to become a wick. The seed potato is placed on the paper toweling which rests on the 5 centimeter high upside down nursery tray. The bottom of the paper toweling is saturated by an approximately 3 centimeter depth of nutrient solution. This moistens the rest of the paper toweling by capillary action. Dry grass is placed over the tray with the paper toweling. Fiberglass window screen covers the area between the tank side and the nursery tray. This prevents the grass from falling into the nutrient solution. The production of Yukon Gold potatoes looks pretty good by this method, but the red salad cultivar definitely did poorly. Looking at the yield data, we see that the Yukon Gold produced just slightly more with this method than with the pot and pot method. One advantage of this method is it doesn't use conventional growing medium but the cost for paper toweling for this method would be about three cents per kilogram of potatoes produced, which would be fairly reasonable. The third growing method involves a 36 by 36 by 13 centimeter tray with a perforated bottom, which rests on an upside down nursery tray. Four seed potatoes were planted in this tray. There was a half a liter of growing medium per seed potato or two liters of growing medium for the whole tray. The tray was filled with dry grass. The level of nutrient solution was originally high enough to just wet the growing medium, but later on was maintained at a three to five centimeter height. Well, the potato production looks a little bit better than the other two methods. In fact, Yukon Gold produced five kilograms per square meter of tank. It's still not as good as growing with the sub-irrigated bag treatments, but we're moving in the right direction. The growing medium cost was 34 cents per kilogram of potatoes. And while that's higher than the pot and pot method and the paper towel method, it is still less than half of the sub-irrigated bag method. Here's a summary slide which shows that the tray method performed the best. Now we only performed this trial once and had to move on to other experiments. So we really didn't get a chance to improve our growing techniques with each of these methods. I would like to encourage you folks to make improvements to these methods and report back in the comments or make a YouTube on it. 
The next two methods were discussed in a previous YouTube, and there are more details about these methods in this publication. The first method is so good that it's guaranteed to get your potatoes in the newspaper. That's because the method consists of wrapping the seed potato in newspaper. There is no growing medium needed. We call this the wrap in newspaper hydroponic method for potatoes. The seed potato is wrapped in newspaper and placed on an upside down nursery tray. Make sure that a small portion of the newspaper becomes moistened by the nutrient solution. Then capillary action will wet the newspaper and provide moisture for the sprouting potato. The new potato shoots emerge through slits in the tank cover. Dry grass is placed over the tank cover. The shoots and foliage grow through the dry grass, and roots grow on the tray and into the nutrient solution. New potatoes form and are supported by the tray. After the crop has matured, remove the foliage, lift the tank cover, and harvest the new potatoes. Here is the potato foliage growing through the dry grass. These potatoes are ready to be harvested. Here are four varieties of potatoes grown by the wrap and newspaper method and the 18.9 liter bag sub-irrigation method. Yukon Gold produced 7.2 kilograms of potatoes per square meter of tank with the newspaper method compared to 6.9 kilograms per square meter with the 18.9 liter bag method. Yes, the newspaper method is worthy of being in the newspaper. Our fifth method is a suspended pot hydroponic method which is similar to the method used for growing lettuce. The bottom of the hydroponic container is partially submerged at planting time and moistens the growing medium by capillary action. The solution level drops as the plant grows and this creates a zone of moist air which encourages the proliferation of oxygen roots. Nutrient and water roots reach down into the nutrient solution. For this method, potato seed pieces are planted in suspended 10 centimeter pots. Since potatoes are a long-term crop, more nutrient solution needs to be added, and a constant 5 centimeter level can be maintained by a float valve. Wow, this pot is bursting out in all directions with new potatoes. We probably should have used a larger pot. Here is a view of the potato foliage. Notice that dry grass was placed over the potatoes. The pot seems to be pretty full of potatoes. This is the all blue cultivar. These are pretty good sized potatoes. The yield was 6.6 .6 kilograms per square meter of tank, which is a little less than the newspaper and the 18.9 liter bag methods. The growing medium cost was 24 cents per kilogram of potatoes, as compared to 74 cents per kilogram of potatoes for the sub-irrigated bag treatment, and that is a 70% savings. Of course, this is 24 cents per kilogram higher than the wrap and newspaper method. Today, we have shown five possible hydroponic growing methods for potatoes. Which method would you choose if you were going to grow potatoes? What are your reasons? It would be great if you could share some of this in the discussion section. Also, that would be super if you have ideas of how to improve these methods, or even suggest new methods. Well, since somebody probably is going to ask about what fertilizer we used, well, in fact, we used a one-to-one -one ratio of two fertilizer stock solutions. The first stock solution contained HydroGardens ChemGrow 41838 hydroponic fertilizer plus magnesium sulfate. The second stock solution contained solution-grade calcium nitrate. Although the initial depth of nutrient solution varied with the growing method, the final depth of the nutrient solution usually ranged from 2.5 to 5 centimeters in the various experiments. The EC of the growing solutions usually ranged from 1.5 to 2 ms. I initially presented this material in a 2008 seminar entitled Low Technology Hydroponic Methods for Growing Potatoes in Hawaii co-authored by Milton Yamasaki and Roy Ishizo at the International Potato Center in Lima, Peru. Now it's time to say, hasta luego!